Imagine having tons of explosive ammo in a huge device on top of your tank, unprotected by any armor. Should you be ready for ammo rack explosions all the time? Or maybe it will be your main advantage. Calliope is the most expensive premium vehicle you can buy using Golden Eagles. Basically, it has all the same characteristics like medium tank M4 Sherman, just with higher battle rating and removed machine gun, but an additional rockets launcher containing 60 uncontrollable high explosive rockets on top of your tank makes a lot of difference in gameplay in certain situations. I will try to give you a basic idea of what this tank is, what to expect from these rockets and how it plays in different game modes. Each rocket has a relatively small high explosive warhead able to penetrate up to 29mm of armor. For its battle rating this means that majority of enemies will have a much stronger armor. But it doesn't mean that rockets are useless. Like any high explosive ammo, it damages everything in a sphere around the impact point. That means that more armor tanks can still be penetrated, but will only be penetrated from above by exploding near least protected part of a tank, the roof. In arcade, this tank felt really fun and advantage was obvious. Mostly because of three reasons. First. Usually there are more players. More players, more targets. Second, almost impossible to cross open fields unnoticed. That forces a lot of enemies to go for usual arcade roads creating a choke points with a lot of tanks in that area. And third, name tags. Of course, not because of the name. No one cares how you call yourself. And I already took the best nickname but because it shows you the direction where enemies are. And with this rocket's accuracy, all you do is direct your launch pad towards name tags and spam rockets. If there is a tank-sized obstacle between you and enemies, you are in great advantage. The only way your tank can be killed is rocket's ammo explosion, but that doesn't happen very often. Usually your launch pad just turns black but in arcade this broken module still can be used that makes you almost unstoppable. Don't be afraid to spam all your rockets. They reload one by one on capture point or if you have used all of them, all 60 will reload anywhere on the map in few minutes. The more often you can stay hidden behind obstacle, the better. It would be smart to clear the area with your rockets and show your turret only if you are out of rockets or enemies are unable to shoot back. Since rockets are very random and heavy tanks don't have a lot of weak spots, heavy armored enemies coming towards you might be a problem. Sometimes it will take a lot of rockets and most importantly time to deal with them. In these situations while your tank is still hidden over the hill, but enemies advancement is inevitable, try to stop them first. It's much more reliable to damage tracks first and then finish it without a rush using as much rockets as necessary. Because of the unpredictability of your rockets, the closer you get, the more accurate will be your shots. In realistic, most of your kills will be done the standard way, using your main gun. Rockets can just support you while reloading or repairing a main gun and in very rare situations will be the main source of damage. When you spot an enemy, it's much more reliable to hit it with your main gun than depend on randomness of your rockets that may or may not hit it, especially at range, as that shot will reveal your position. Calliope faces two difficulties in realistic staying unseen. First, very tall silhouette. Your rocket's launch pod makes it almost impossible to completely hide in bushes. Moving your turret will also move the rockets on top, making you easily detectable. Even when appearing from overhill, enemies will spot your rockets before your silhouette appears. 
and you won't be able to respond with accurate fire especially if they are far enough. Second, shooting a rocket creates a lot of smoke, attracting everyone's attention and making your position known. Spray your rockets until enemy dies and relocate. Or prepare to meet enemy forces that will be attracted by all these fireworks. To me the tank felt very different depending on game mode. Gameplay in realistic wasn't very different while in arcade it was changed drastically. Since surprises here rarely happen, I was able to confidently stand my ground at comfortable obstacle and attack enemy troops without exposing anything except the rockets itself. If in realistic that was just a nice to have additional firepower to fill the time between my shots, in arcade I was able to rely on rockets as a main weapon.